Hello friends! Welcome back to 4K! I hope you had a good long weekend! We're going to start this week with a story, but first we have a message up here on the board. We want to read it to you. Welcome to 4K! Love, Miss Sheila and... Today we're going to read a story called Hello, My Name Is. The words were written by Marissa Polanski and the pictures were drawn by Joey Cho. Hello, my name is how Adora Billis got his name. Early one morning, when all the fish were tucked away, a new creature arrived in the deep sea tank. He was very tiny with great big eyes and eight little tentacles. There had never been a creature quite like him. Good morning, said the friendly new creature. The other fish stirred with a start. Oh, a new friend, exclaimed Yeti Crab. Look how small you are, said Anglerfish. I wonder what they'll call you. She turned on her light to inspect the new resident. Call me, asked the creature, looking confused. Well, everybody has a name here. I use this little hook to attract fish like an angler does, so I'm called Anglerfish. I can change my shape and color, so I'm called Mimic Octopus, said the octopus, the color of the coral behind her. A fish smiled wide, showing his long, sharp teeth, and said, I'm Fangtooth. Can you guess why? Look at his teeth. And I'm Six-Gilled Shark, because I have six gills he uses for breathing, said Anglerfish. Howdy, partner. What's your name? said the shark, flipping his fin. The new guy concerned, concentrated as hard as he could, but he couldn't change his color like Mimic Octopus and he opened his mouth as wide as it would go, but he couldn't find one tooth. He took a deep breath, but when he exhaled, it was only out of two gills. What will my name be? I can, can't do any of that either, said the orange and white striped fish, but I have a bright stripes like a painted clown, so they call me clownfish. I glow bright when, like the moon, so I'm known as Moon Jelly, said the glamorous jellyfish as she stretched her tentacles. Wow, said the new creature, you are all so incredible. That's giant squid. She's huge and powerful. I'd swim clear of her if I were you, whispered anglerfish. The new creature swam by the squid as quietly as could be. As more fish gathered around, the new guy grew more and more uncertain about what his name could be. I don't have bright stripes or look like the moon, and I'm definitely not giant. What will I be called? Just then, he had an idea. Watch this, he said, jumping off a high coral. He gently floated down to the bottom. I'm an excellent parachute. Then he waved in and out of the sea plants, and I was the best steer in my old neighborhood. They could call me Parachute Steerfish. That's a mouthful, said Fangtooth with a big grin. The new creature grew quiet. What could be his name? What could it possibly be? Just then, a scientist appeared outside the tank. How are you doing in your new home, Adorabilis? Adora Billis, everyone exclaimed with excitement. You are adorable, said the clownfish. Adora Billis is the perfect name for you, agreed anglerfish. I don't know, he looks more like a bob to me, said the six-gilled shark. That's it, that's my name, he tried it out. My name is Adora Billis. Nice to meet you. That was a fun book. Today, we're gonna work on a project with our names. Hi friends, today I want you to work on your name. I have my name right here on this piece of paper. It says, Miss Sheila. 
You should have one too with your name and the packets we sent home with you. You should have two paints as well. So you're gonna take your paints and your name card and get a small bowl of water. You're gonna take your finger, dip it in the water, put it into your paints, swish it around, and then you're gonna use your finger to trace your name. You can use our paints that we sent home, or you can use your own paints if you have more colors at home. Hope you enjoy drawing your name today, and don't forget to send us pictures when you're done.